Hey guys, so just got off of work about an hour ago. I had to, after work, I had to go get a few things for the house. And now I'm headed back home and this thing's like so shaky on my um, window here. I don't know what's up with it. But anyways, work today was quite difficult. Like, I mean, everything was good, like work-wise, but it really kicked my tail. Because I had to have the back end half of myself, and it was just great, great. But I made it. My back's hurting, so I'm going to go home and cook me and the kids something to eat. And, um, well, the first thing I'm going to do is get a shower, and then I'm going to put some freaking back rub on my back because it's hurting really bad. And then... I'm gonna cook and then I'm gonna relax for the rest of the freaking evening. So yeah. But I was gonna share something with you all. So not yesterday, but the day before, whenever um, we had went swimming, I was sitting there and um, we had been there for like two hours, two and a half hours. And I noticed this lady up from me, like she looked so familiar, like as of like last year, or maybe the year before that. Like it was like one or two years ago that I had, you know, met met this lady. And the first time we met, like our souls were connected, our spirits were connected, and like she shared her testimony, I shared mine, and it was just a great, great, like you know, testimony thing. Like it helped both of us sharing our testimonies and stuff. And um, so I, I was sitting there and I was trying not to stare, but I looked and I could tell that looked just like the lady that, you know, we had talked together and everything. So I kept looking and I'm like, you know, I'm not going to, uh, you know, say hey and try talking to her because what if it's not her and then I'm gonna be embarrassed. So I sat there and uh, during that time, I was just contemplating on like how life was, how my life is so different compared to how it used to be. Uh, you know, some times you just feel sorry for yourself and that's exactly what I was doing. But then as I was watching my kids play, I was like, you know, I'm really blessed. I have, like, my kids are everything. They're, they truly make my whole heart happy. They're my life and they're my pride and joy. So I was sitting there and then she looks back at me twice and she's like, hey. And um, she didn't know, like, she couldn't remember my name, but she could remember, um, remember my channel coupon and girl because you know whenever we were talking I shared that with her and stuff she's like hey coupon and girl and I'm like I thought that was you you know and so we got to talking and um I could really experience or sense that like she was really sad I, like I could really sense that her spirit was like really really sad and she had you know got to talking to me and she's like how's life going I says well it's going and she's like, um, because she had remembered that I had just married. And she's like, how's that going? I said, honey, I'm divorced again. Um, and that just, we just started talking. I'm like, well, I'm good. And I'm like, how are you doing? And um, she just started crying, like out from nowhere, like she was bawling. I said, honey, what's wrong? And she had told me that her son had committed suicide, like literally a couple of months ago. And I just stood there in shock. I didn't know what to say. All that I could say was, you know, I'm sorry. I, I hate to hear that. Like, I was just... Stuff like that, you really don't know what to say. Especially your kid dying in that way. And so, I just sat and listened to her. And try to use comfort, comforting words that, you know, I could. Best, best that I could. And it really dawned on me, sitting there, I was like, wow. You know, she kept talking. And I, I looked at her and I said, you know... I briefly told her how I was feeling as, as I was sitting there before, you know, I seen her and like before I knew that that was her, about how like my life was just kind of so different from everybody's, you know, I was just feeling sorry for myself. Like, you know, here I am divorced and, you know, um, raising poor kids by myself. Well, their dad helps, like it's half and half. So, I mean, really I'm not, but really I am too at the same time. And, um, feeling sorry for myself that I had no, you know, mom or dad and, you know, grandparents and just wall learning it for a minute. It wasn't long, but like I was thinking about it, ain't gonna lie. And then as she kept talking and like before that had happened, it was weird. I was like, I was kind of praying to the Lord. I was like, you know, I have got to find a way to get out there 
and start helping the hurting people and like you know there's you know i was just praying I, I need lord to open doors i need my life to be you know where god wants me to be like that's my heart's desire is to help others you know and i was just thinking that i was like that is my truly calling you know i may be down too but i've got to help others get up as well while i'm getting up they're getting up and uh so when whenever we were talking and i was sharing that i was like you know you never know somebody beside you the load that they're carrying you don't you you have no clue in life you think your life's bad and your mind is one track at the moment during that time during that process of all the hell you're going through the ups and downs the twists and turns but if you would look out there elsewhere there's other hurting people that in a, that is in a worse shape than you yeah i may not have a mom or dad but that's gone that was in the past but still it hurts at times but then there's people now that has just lost their son or their daughter due to suicide or due to cancer or due to sickness i mean that really just drew strings to my heart and i was like you know i've got to quit this mess and I don't, I don't sit and waller in it day by day, but I'm not going to lie, my, my mind will wander. But I know that God has a perfect plan for my life and for my kids. I do. I know. I don't know what it is, but I know that He knows. And um, I don't know. Just it really, it really had a way of twisting my, you know, way of thought that day. We never know. And you know. Even though, and I'm not bragging on myself by no means, because I I get down to the bottom myself. But like even when I, even when I'm at my weakest and my lowest, I still try to smile, and I still try to help people. That's just what I do. And I was just, you know, as she was talking and stuff, I was like thinking, Lord, you know, just help me to get, you know, above myself. Let myself go. To be able to lift somebody up when they can't stand on their own and that's what i want to do you know it's life that people's hurting people's dying people needs comfort people needs you know love other than hate and you know heartache this world's corrupt and evil and all the above but and the guy that that happened to had two little boys and a girl and she's raising them now so uh, y'all just say a prayer for that family you know you, like I don't I can't remember her name but anyways hey if you're watching I love you girl and uh, just say a prayer for them that the Lord will help them and carry on through their difficult times because we never know it could be any of us life has a way of changing and you know having ups and downs and twists and turns Lord do I know that but anyways I've got to go I'll get back with y'all later, but I wanted to share that with you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.